Have you ever looked up in the sky and seen birds and planes and wondered, how can they float when they're so much heavier than the air? Hi friends, my name's Emily. I'm an educator here at Exploration Place. My friend Daniel Bernoulli asked that same exact question. Bernoulli was a Swiss scientist way back in the 1700s and he studied air pressure. The air all around us is a gas and it's made of these teensy tiny molecules. And those molecules are always moving around. And what Bernoulli figured out is that the faster those molecules move, the lower the air pressure, and the slower they move, the higher the air pressure. We call this Bernoulli's principle. And now, I have a challenge. And all you need is a bendy straw and a ping pong ball. We're gonna see if we can get the ping pong ball to levitate using the straw and our breath. Hey, look at that. So why did that work? Well, it's thanks to Bernoulli's principle. As I blow through the straw, I create a column of really fast moving air. And remember, fast moving air means low air pressure. And because my ping pong ball is curved, that air comes up around all of the sides, creating a little pocket of low air pressure my ping pong ball sits in. However, all of this air around me is slower moving, meaning it's at a higher air pressure. So anytime my ping pong ball tries to pop out of that low pressure system, the high air pressure forces it back in, causing my ping pong ball to levitate. You can totally try this at home. See how long you can get your ping pong ball to levitate. The cool thing is you can make this even bigger. Do you have a hair dryer? See if you can get one of those stress balls to float. Do you have a leaf blower? You grab an adult and see what you can levitate with that. Thanks so much for joining me today, friends. We'll see you again soon.